Let's solve this circuit here using Kirchhoff's current laws and Kirchhoff's voltage laws. And we're going to observe something interesting about the power in this circuit, where it's supplied and where it's consumed. Well, we start here by defining a couple of currents that are going to help us in our uh, analysis. So let me define this to be IA around here. We're going to consider the current going through this resistor, and we're also going to consider the current going through this resistor. I'm going to call that IB, and I give both of them a polarity. Uh, this one, we're going to define this as being VB. This is uh, across here. And we're going to define this, of course, as being plus and minus VA across here. And we can see straight away that VA is going to be 2 times IA. So that's going to equal what we get by going around this loop. So here we're getting in this part here is 3 volts by going here. Now here we observe from our definitions here that VB is going to equal 2 times IB. So we're getting another gain if we go around this round around the circuit. We're getting a gain of 2 times IB. And then when we're going from here to here, we're losing 8 volts across here. So this is an equation that we've got from using Kirchhoff's voltage law, saying that the voltage across here is the same as the voltage around this part of the circuit. So that gives us one equation. Now we need another equation, and let's use a current law. So here we've got this 3 amps here. we we'll just pick on this one, for example. So we know that the current coming through this loop here is going to be the same as the current that goes out to the right and to the left from this node. So we can write here that 3 amps, that's the 3 amps equation. So this 3 amps is equal to the current that's coming down here plus the current through here plus the current through here. So let's work those things out. So this is going to equal IA. So that's the current down through here. So that equals IA plus this current down here, which is 1.25 amps. So it's 1.25 plus the current down here, which is equal to IB, plus IB. So now we have two equations in two unknowns. I'll call this label this equation one and equation two. And so equation two implies that we can get an expression for IA, so I just by rearranging. So IA is equal to three minus 1.25 minus IB. And then that equals, of course, 1.75 minus IB. And now if we substitute that for IA into the first equation, we're going to get 2 times 1.75 minus IB equals uh, 3 minus 8. So that equals minus 5 plus 2 IB. And then we can solve that. We've got then multiplying this out, adding the 5, we see that is 8.5 equals 4 times IB, because we've got 2 times IB plus the 2 times here. On the right hand side, we get 4. So that implies that IB equals 2.125 amps. Okay, and then from that, we can find out that IA equals minus 0 0.375 amps, and VA equals minus 0.75 volts. Notice here that IA is negative. Okay, so we've worked out using a current law and a voltage law, the currents and the voltages. But interestingly, we can also observe something about the powers. Let's have a look at the power in this resistor here. So this power here is going to equal IA squared times the resistance. And that equals, so the power through the resistor A equals 0 0.28 watts. Now also the power through this resistor here, we call that PB, and that equals 9.03 watts. But this is power that's consumed because they are in resistors. But we can also be interested to look at the power in these sources here. So for example, the power in the eight uh, volt supply 
equals 17 watts. That's a positive power, and that means that that is supplied. We can see that that power is here because it's 8 volts multiplied by the current. And the current equals IB. IB uh, here equal 2.125, and it's coming in the direction from positive, out of the positive, uh, because IB is positive, so that current is coming out of the positive terminal of that 8 volt supply, and so therefore it's a positive power. What about the power in this 3 volt here? We're going to see something interesting here. The power here equals 6.375 watts, but it is a negative. So this is going to be, that is the power consumed. Okay, so we've got here, because the current IB is positive, uh, IB here is positive, and that's coming into the positive terminal of this voltage supply. So actually, this is not supplying current. And so this is an often uh, confusion, is that people think always that these components, when drawn like this, that they are supplies of power. In this case, it is actually consuming power. So there's an electronic circuit. This is a model that represents an electronic circuit. That electronic circuit in this scenario is keeping the voltage exactly pinned at three volts. And actually what's happening is current is coming into that circuit through the positive terminal. So power is actually being consumed. In the this one here is being supplied. Okay, and also if we think about these current sources, the P for the 3 amp is equal to 2.25 because uh, we can see, and it's 2.25 there, uh, because we can see in the 3 amps uh, we've got the current and now we know the voltage, is, which is VA across there, so we, need, we, we know the current times the voltage, but that is also being consumed because the current is going in the opposite direction to the polarity of the voltage. So that is also consumed. Uh, and then the power in the 1.25 amps, which equals 0 0.9375, is supplied because that's a positive. The voltage is in the same polarity matching the direction of the current. So it's quite a complicated circuit. We've used fairly straightforward current laws and voltage laws, and we've observed some interesting things about these constant current sources and constant voltage sources is that two of them are supplying power and two of them are actually consuming power. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. It helps others to find the video. Of course, subscribe to the channel. That's helpful for the channel. And you can check out the description below. You'll find a web page with a full categorized listing of all the videos on the channel.